hey guys in today's video we will see how we can do array range increment operations in linear time so what i meant by this is we are given an array let's say arr let's take an example array one two three four and we are given a factor let's say factor is equal to two and we are given uh, some queries so queries in the form of l and r so 0 comma 2 let's say and 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 3 right so let's say these are the queries so what we have to do for this query let's take an example q equal to 0 comma 2 this is given as l and this is given as r so for this query we will increment all the elements from 0 up till 2 or oh, up till 2 here so all these elements inside this range will be increased by this factor so we will add, uh, add 2 inside that so 1 plus 2 2 plus 2 and 3 plus 2 right and 4 will be as it is so we will get 3 4 5 4 and now for 1 comma 3 we will increase 1 and 3 these elements so we will get 3 and 4 plus 2 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 and then 6 again right and on next query so which will be 2 comma 3 we will get 3 6 9 and 8 okay so this is our answer as we have seen in previous one we had this so 2 and 3 we have to check these elements 0 1 2 and 3 so these will be increased by 2 so it will become 9 it will become 8 we will get 3 6 9 and 8 like this right so this is our answer this is what we have to print out okay so for doing that the first approach can be a naive approach so what we can do is for every query we have l and r so we can go inside the array and increase from 4 i is equal to l to r a of 5 plus equal to d d or we can call it factor so this is one approach but this approach will take us order n which is size of array and multiplied by q which is number of queries and if n and q are very large so we will get a very huge time complexity which is not viable right so let's see of how we can reduce this time so efficient algorithm so let me tell about an efficient algorithm how we can approach it so first of all let's create an array sum and initialize it with zero so we will have four zero so because size of our array is equal to four which was let me write here array was equal to one two three and four right so we created a sum array and initialized it uh, with zero right so now we can start looking at queries so for the first query let's see what we have to do so for zero and two this is l and this is equal to r so let's uh, see what if we do sum of l plus equal to factor right and then we check if r plus 1 is less than n n is the size of array then we will do sum of r plus 1 minus equal to factor now let's see what this thing does this thing so it is very important thing here so let's take this example itself so if we do sum 0 which is l plus equal to 2 so our sum array, uh, sum array sorry will become on 0 we will add 2 so 2 0 0 and 0 right after this operation then we check if 3 is less than 4 2 plus 1 3 is less than size of array so yes this is true so we will do sum of this 3 minus equal to factor right factor was equal to 2 so here we will get minus 2 let me index this so what this uh, thing tells about the increment so let me write here and explain so 2 
one zero then zero zero and then minus two right so if we take an uh, some accumulative sum so what we can do uh, we can add this element to this then this element to this then this element to this so effectively we can do for i equal to one up till and minus one and we will do sum of i will be equal to sum of i plus equal to i minus i plus one i minus one sorry right so let's see what it does so for this array we will have two so zeroth position we are not changing for first position we will have zero plus two then for third position we will again have zero this element so this will be zero plus two and then sum of i itself which is zero right then we will have 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus minus 2 which is this right so these will cancel out and we will get 2 2 2 and 0 so what it tells about that 0 1 2 3 so up till from 0 till 2 we have increased the elements by 2 and on third position we have 0 itself because the query was 0 2 right so this is what we are doing now let's do with all the queries so we have done for this query let me write my sum array now let's do for another query which was 1 and 3 so we will do sum 1 plus equal to 2 which is factor so here for first element we will change it will become 2 now and if 3 plus 1 that is 4 is less than 4 no this is false so we won't do anything now for third query we have 2 and 3 so we will do sum of 2 plus equal to 2 right sum of 2 so this element will become 2 now so finally we will get our sum array as So this is our summary. Let us take a cumulative sum. So cumulative sum of this array. So we will do for i is equal to 1 up till n minus 1 sum of i plus equal to sum of now let's see what this will do to the summary. Okay. So we have sum initially it was 2 2 2 and minus 2 now after doing this cumulative something we will have sum is equal to this will be as it is 2 then we will add this element with this 4 then we will add this element inside this it will be 6 then we will add it here and 4 so it tells us that inside the array which was let me write it on another page So this sum array tells us that this element was increased by 2 and this was increased by 4, this was increased by 6 and this was increased by 4 again. So what if we add both of these element by element? So what I meant is for i is equal to 0 to n minus 1, I can do arr of i plus equal to sum of i, right? So element by element I am adding them. So 2 plus 1 and then 2 plus 4 and then 3 plus 6 and then 4 plus 4 so we'll get 9 here 8 here 6 here and 3 here now this was our final answer right so this was the overall approach of solving this problem uh, the code of this problem will be given in the description below you can check that out and if you like the video please hit the subscribe button and like button and thank you